Hello and welcome to the fourth fundamental investing with use of uh, programming tutorial series where we left off we made this uh, basic function that looks for whatever stock you put in there and will return to you the price to book ratio from Yahoo. Um, so what we want to do now is you know kind of the whole point of this was to cut down work for you know the investor and so so far with doing this we could have just put that into the URL and run it ourselves so how do we actually speed this up and then let's make it a little more intuitive and actually make it a screening program and only give us price to book ratios on stocks that are under a specific number so the first thing we want to do is let's make it run through a list now again I've made these two lists this is this list is the entire S&P 500 it just continues going off the screen uh, and then this other list is just a short version. It's like the first 10-15 stocks in the S&P 500. So we're going to use that one for now, but you could use the S&P 500. Um, I'll put the entire S&P 500 array uh, on the website, centdex.com. You can find all the tutorials on there uh, just by going centdex.com, then about, and then there's like tutorials in there. Um, so I'll try to put this whole array in there. If I forget to do it, just remind me and I'll do it. And then I'll try to put the short one just in the description of uh, the YouTube video. This one's just a bit too big to put in the description. So anyway, um, what we're going to do to run through this list is use a for loop. And basically a for loop is used to run through any bit of list. And usually I just put it into a function. So that's what it's useful for. So what we're going to do is for, uh, and we're just going to say for each stock. Again, if you don't know much about for loops, I do have a dedicated tutorial on them as well. Um, so anyway, here we're just defining a variable for each stock in SP500 short. This is what that's saying is for every little entity in this list, do something with it. And we're just calling it each stock at the moment. Um, what do we want to do? Well, we want to run Yahoo key stats and the variable here is going to be each stock so we want to perform Yahoo key stats and then the, what's the stock variable that we want to stick in there well we want to stick each stock into that variable so now uh, we'll save that and let's run that and you should see it starts printing out price to book ratios now obviously it's not telling us the stock name uh, we could go back and fix that real quick and we didn't have a timer there that was a mistake time sleep uh, we'll just put a one second timer there and price to book ratio uh, we'll just throw stock in here there so now we'll run it bring it over so now it's a you know for a 3.28 for aa 66 and so on it abv almost 20. for anybody that doesn't know abv is a pharmaceutical company um aci is pretty cheap it's coal mining company anyway you get the idea so now this will just you know you can run through the entire S&P 500 and get all these statistics here obviously um, the only ones that we'd really as a value investor since that's what we're first looking at um, what are stocks that might pique our interest uh, just off of the price to book ratio well AA at 0.66 ACI at 0.38 and that's it so how do we how do we just instead of like all this stuff like this is noise we really don't care about Abvi, um, don't care about Adobe we don't care about ACT ACM we don't really care about A's and so on so how do we uh, get around that and to do that um, we're just going to edit this just slightly and we'll come down right before printing out this price to book ratio and what we're going to say is if um, what we want to do is say if PBR is less than uh, 0.7 we'll say then what do we want to do we want to print out this so we'll tab that over so it falls underneath this if um, but we can't do that straight up because PBR is being read into this program as a string because it's just reading this stuff off of here so it doesn't know to consider that as a like a number right so first we have to convert that to a number and in Python, there's two versions of a number. One is an integer. The other one is a float. Integer means it's a like kind of like a whole number, basically. And a float comes out to a decimal. So we need to use float because most of these numbers are in decimal form. So if float PBR is less than 0.7, then we care about it, print it out, and uh, make this a basic screening program. 
So uh, save that, run that, and we'll drag this over as it's running through all this. Found one for AA, 0.66, awesome. And we're still waiting on one more. Arch Cole is who we're waiting on at the moment, I think. And there's your um, Arch Cole. Obviously, the once these little arrows pop out again, that means it's finished. Um, so it should be done pretty quick here since we only had like a one second timer. Yep, yeah, there it goes. Okay, so we went through you know this list here, the short list of stocks to find uh, any stock with a less than 0.7 price to book ratio. Made a program to do that and spit out to us um, the stocks that we might be interested in. Obviously, that's a very, very crude uh, starting point. You wouldn't want to invest purely off of all these stocks. But just to give you an idea, you know, Arch Cole here, um, if they were to sell, you know, all their tangible assets, their business is clearly undervalued just off of their tangible assets. Now, there might be something fundamentally wrong with the business. And like I said, your debtors are going to be paid first. So really, that only leaves 0.38 of their um, tangible assets that could even be paid out to investors. So you would still lose money. It's not a surefire um, investment strategy, but it's a good place to start. So anyway, um, that's your starting point. We're going to be getting much more into depth in the future videos. So if that sounds exciting to you, then uh, stay tuned for those. As always, thanks for watching. Thank you for your support, your subscriptions, and until next time.